So we're in the Kentucky Gallery here at the Speed Art Museum. So many great Kentucky artists on display. We're gonna tell you about one of them right now. Joining us is Erica Holmquist Wall. She's the chief curator of the Speed Art Museum. Erica, thanks so much for being with us. It's, I'm happy to be here. Great, so we are here in the Helen LaFrance exhibit. Tell us about Helen, who was she? Helen LaFrance is a pretty amazing woman. She passed away at age 101 just two years ago. So her lifespan covered the 20th century and her paintings really showcase that, like the 20th century of a Kentucky small town. And it, it, from what I read, she referred back to something called sense memory mm -hmm. to do a lot of these. What is sense memory and how does this work into what she was able to do? Well, Helen clearly had a very rich internal creative imagination that she was able to tap into and powers of obs powers of observation that um, when you look at her paintings, they just shine through. She's able to capture details that a lot of us maybe take for granted or just kind of pass on by. And she's able to tap into that um, and capture it in paint and create images that feel timely, relevant, universal, whether it's a church picnic or a Bible study or a quilting bee. She's created these paintings that were immediately able to access. And there's some Easter eggs in here. She liked to put herself in some yes. of these as well. Is that correct? Tell me about that. Yes. So if, in these paintings, if you spot a little girl in a red dress, that is usually a little symbol for Helen herself as a child. That's great. And now she didn't just work in paint. She worked in a lot of other mediums as well. Yes. So, you know, Helen tapped into that creative spark as a young girl and really followed it her entire life. Um, she was a quilter, a doll maker, a collage artist, a painter, a sculptor, um, and not just, you know, carving and doll making, but like full on actual large scale carved wood objects, which is not easy to do. Right, right. Absolutely. So she was from Mayfield, Kentucky, an area that was absolutely decimated by tornadoes back in 2021. This showed itself in her artwork in a couple different ways. How, yeah. how did that bring out? Yeah, you know, that is, I think the Mayfield tornado um, really made this exhibition bittersweet when working on it because um, we were in the process of trying to track down these paintings and the early stages of research and development when the tornado hit. And so immediately these images of Helen's Main Street, the courthouses, the churches, the just kind of images of small town life now have become memory paintings because so many of them are no longer there. Um, so it did bring another element and a whole different perspective to this exhibition. And she actually had one painting that captured, in her view, the tornado as well. Yes. So when we located in a private collection um, the image of the tornado, it kind of it took our breath away because it felt so prescient and. Um, you know, almost like, a, you know, a chill couldn't help but go up your back because, you know, the painting was probably done sometime in the late 1980s, early 1990s, but it absolutely captured the terror and the weather and the, 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 the panic that comes along with experiencing a tornado. Now, she was a full-time artist yes. later in life, so success and notoriety for her really came at a later stage, is that correct? Yeah, so she was always making art, even though while she was, you know, working full-time jobs and selling her work at, you know, craft shows or church sales. And um, it wasn't until later in life in her, probably well in her, to her 70s, that she was actually able to get some representation and start showing at galleries of, you know, folk art and self-taught artists. and. There's a lot of Helen LaFrance works out there in the southwestern Kentucky region. So you could go to art fairs at one point and pick up a piece by her. Yes, That's absolutely. Yeah. Why is it so important, Erica, for you all to showcase Kentucky artists here? Well, it's important for us to put on shows like these that have more research and time and thought behind them and present these chapters of art history because it tells us the story of ourselves as who we are as Kentuckians. And, you know, 
Kentucky art history into the larger story of American art history. Well, it's a fascinating place. Erica holmquist -Wall, Chief Curator of the Speed Art Museum. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Hey, everybody. I'm Chip Holston, and I am cherishing this Kentucky life. And if you enjoyed that story and would like to see more, click right here to see more.